Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to rig and animate a face of a character in different angles and with different facial expressions using the joysticks and sliders plugin. So let's start. So this is the illustration I created for this animation project and after doing the illustration, I created the individual frames for the character with different facial expressions as well as with different facial angles so that I can get a better idea how the character is going to look like in different facial expressions. So these are the individual frames of the character that I have designed and after doing the design, I jumped onto the animation process. So here I have prepared the illustration for animation in After Effects. So for that I have to separate the layers such that the layers that I need to animate need to be in a separate layer. So for this one I have pretty much separated all the facial elements like eyes, eyebrows, the glasses, ears, even the hair elements like this one and this one and this one all in a separate layer and I have properly named it over here so that once I import the illustration file in After Effects, I get a separate layer for each of these facial elements. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process. Okay, so right now we are in After Effects and the very first thing that you might have noticed is this shape. So this shape is the shadow casting on the face. So we're going to use the track mat to hide the extra part. So we're going to use the head layer as the mat. Now we're going to do the same thing for this shadow as well. And for this one, we're going to select this body layer. So now we're going to add a null object over here and we're going to move the anchor point at the center. And let's place the null object at the center of the face. So let's rename it as facial elements. Now we're going to parent all the facial elements with this null object, including the glasses. So right now, all the facial elements are parented with the null object, even the top here, as well as the shadow casting on the face. So now we're going to add the initial keyframes for the neutral pose of this character. So. We're going to put a keyframe on this null object position property and then we're going to put position keyframe on this eye layer. After that, we're going to put a position keyframe on this here back view. And then we are also going to put a position keyframe on the head. Also, I would like to parent this null object with the head. So when we move the head, null object should be moving together. Even the ears, we are going to parent it with the head. Alright. Now after this, we are also going to parent the back hair with the head as well. So right now with the head, all of these are connected. Now we are also going to parent the shadow with the head. And right now the shadow is also moving with the head. So let's put the position keyframe on the ear as well and we might need more keyframes on other layers. So let's see, let's jump on to creating the next pose. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make the side view of this character. So we're going to simply move this null object the side and we also need a keyframe on the path property of this null object. So for this one, we are going to change the direction of this tip and we are also going to add a keyframe on the shadow layer. We are also going to shift the eye even more left and then we are going to move the ears as well. So for the ears, this ear is going to be more exposed and this ear is going to be less exposed. So we are also going to add a keyframe on the path property of this head layer. So we are going to distort this jawline a bit. Then let's shift this head a bit left. And we are also going to add a rotation keyframe. So for this one, we are going to rotate around 2 degree. So then we are going to shift the back here. And with this, this angle 
change is done. Okay, so right now we are going to select all the keyframe layers and we can click on the origin in the joysticks and sliders and here we got the initial frame. So right now we can do the other side of the facial angle rotation in the similar manner. Okay, so now we are going to make the face look upwards. So select all the keyframe layers and click on origin to get back the initial frame. And we are going to move the null object up and then we are going to move the ears down. Also the hair we are going to move it down and we are going to select the eyes and shift it up even more. Alright, with this we got the upward direction but I also want to distort the face a bit. We are going to make this a bit flattened and after that let's move this head overall head a bit up okay so in the similar manner we are going to make the face look down okay so with this we have all the four direction of the head and right now we are going to select all the layers with the keyframes and then we are going to click on create new joystick and we are going to rename the joystick and as you can see the keyframes are replaced with expressions and this joystick is the only thing that you have to control to move the face direction. Alright. Okay, now we are going to rig the eyes to animate the eye blink. So, we are going to use the path property of this eyebrows layer. So, let's open the path property of these ships and put keyframe on the path property. Let's jump on to the next frame and here we are going to select this and double click on it to get this bounding box and we are going to change the direction and let's modify this part. Alright, so let's select this, double click on it and we are going to change the direction and move it down. Okay, so after this, we are going to add another ship so that we can hide the retina using the track mat. So we are going to use a similar ship as the eyelash and we are going to put the path property keyframe on this layer. Alright, so we are going to use the retina and use this layer as the track mat and we are going to invert the mat. And here it is. So we are going to do the same for the other eye. Okay, now we are going to select this eyelids layer and parent it with its eyebrows. So it's time to rig it with the controller. So select all the layers with the keyframes and then. So this time we are going to use sliders. So select on slider and we are going to create a new slider and let's rename the controller and here you have a controller but you actually have a null object and here in effects and controls you can control this animation but if you want a controller a visual controller something like this then select this layer and then select this effect in the effects controls panel and then again click on create and here you have a visual controller so if you select this controller and move it you can control the eyes and animate the eye blink and finally we are going to rig the face with different facial expressions so for that we are going to match the character with these facial expressions so let's start with the sad face so for a facial expression you only need to animate the eyebrows and the mouth. So here we have these three layers and for these three layers let's open the mouth shape path property and put a keyframe. For the eyebrows we are going to put the position keyframe and the rotation keyframe. And then jump on to the next one and we are going to make the sad face. 
so for the side face we are going to bend this one down and make the mouth a bit small and maybe we can move it down a bit like this and after that we are going to rotate the eyebrows in this direction okay one more thing that we need to do is we have to parent these layers with the eyebrows itself all right now we can rotate the eyebrow this side same we are going to move it and rotate it around 15 degree and move it this side and after that we can select the layers and click on origin to get the initial frame and then you can do the other facial expressions in the similar manner just rotating the eyebrows and moving it in the different positions and animating the shape path property of the mouth to match these facial expressions and once you get all the four facial expressions then you can rig it using the joystick exactly using the similar method as we have used earlier for the head and after that to animate the face right now you have to simply move the controllers and here is the final result so like this you can rig and animate a face in different facial angles and with different facial expressions using the joysticks and sliders plugin so that is it for this video and if you want to learn how to rig and animate a face using the twig bezel plugin then i have a separate video on it you can click on the i button on the top right corner or you can check out in the description i will be providing the link in the description so that is it for this video i hope you liked it if you like the video make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubts regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down below i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye